All right. Well, Democrats are crowding into the Pinellas Congressional District 13 race. The seat is held by first-term Republican Congress member Anna Paulina Luna. Seven Democrats want to replace her. So far, the Democrat who has raised the most money and picked up the most significant endorsements is Whitney Fox, the former communications director for the Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority. She's raised more than $420,000 since launching her campaign last year. As our guest, Janelle Irwin-Taylor reports, Fox has accumulated more than 30 endorsements, including U.S. Representatives Kathy Castor and Lois Frankel, as well as former U.S. Representative and now U.S. Senate candidate Debbie McCarthy. Marcel Powell, State Representative Lindsey Cross, the National Women's Political Caucus, and several major unions have also endorsed her. Democrat Mark Weinkrantz, an Air Force veteran and former airline pilot, has raised the second most at 188000 Republican Anna Paulina Luna, the incumbent, has raised $1.3 million, far more than any of the Democrats. Jennifer, this district was redrawn to favor the Republicans, but what does it say the race is really crowded? Why so many Democrats in the race? Do they think they've got a chance? And that's exactly why I think there's so many Democrats in the race, is they know that it's flippable. The DCCC, or Democratic Congressional Committee, has picked it as one of the two congressional seats in Florida that they're going to invest in. Um, and Cook Political actually dropped it from an R plus seven to an R plus six within the last six months. Um, it's moving. And I do believe that everybody knows that there's an avenue to a path to victory, especially against somebody as extreme as Anna Paulina Luna. So, yeah, we've got a lot of candidates. We have a bunch of them. Uh, Janelle Luna is way ahead in fundraising, though. That's it. She is, and, and you mentioned in, in kind of the intro to this conversation that um, Mark Weinkrantz had raised 188000 He hasn't raised 188000 He's raised like 40000 The rest of it, he cut a check. So uh, that's an important distinction, I think. What, what sh I think what should trouble Democrats about this race is that this is an R plus six district. It is going to be a very uphill climb, money notwithstanding. So, you know, when you've got one candidate who's already raised $420,000 and others are, you know, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars behind that, you know, why are you not rallying around one candidate? And you see that with other races throughout the state as well, where you have Democrats that are not solidifying their support and you're forcing a competitive primary, you're forcing them to waste resources, when those resources, if they want to be successful in that district, need to go towards Anna Paulina. I, I talked to some of the campaigns and they say that the, these Democrats say they have more experience than Fox does and that that's why they're in the race. Well, and that, and that may very well be true. Liz Dahan has an incredible record and she has been aggressively fundraising to her credit. She entered pretty late though. Okay, Danny, what do you think? You know, as a former congressional candidate myself, I can honestly tell you the establishment does not like free thinkers on both sides. Personally, I believe that. So we talk about Anna Paulina Baluna being an extreme. I just think she's a free thinker. And I wouldn't be surprised if the party in Washington is not a big, big fan of hers either. So possibly the Democrats see that as well. Now, she, I believe she will win, but I think that's an issue. She said last year that President Biden should be impeached, essentially. Does yeah. that make her extreme? A lot of Republicans feel that way. Right. Um, this is going to be tough, okay? I looked at the stats recently. 50,000 more Republicans and Democrats in the district. 40%, uh, 30%, roughly uh, independents, around 27, 30%. you got to hope for these N N independents, NPAs, to switch over uh, in, the, in the fall. Um, but I, and I'm curious too, your, your question to Jennifer was like, why so many? Everybody thinks they have this chance. This is not the district of a few years ago. So uh, I know she's only been there for two years. Which was represented by Charlie Crist. Right, yes. after yeah. they registered it from where it was previously with uh, Bill Young and David Jolly. Yes, yeah. I, well, you know, and ha knowing most of these candidates and, and pretty well, I can, I can say from my perspective is we have different candidates that I do believe will enthuse different segments of our voting population. We have an amazing young Gen, Gen Z candidate who's been endorsed by Sabrina Boosbar, who's been endorsed by um, Latinos for Victory. So she has a different segment. And we have Whitney Fox, who you introduced, who has nice, strong roots and amazing endorsements from local electeds. And we have Liz, who has a great, amazing experience. And we have Mark Weinkrantz, who's also been around for a long time and has some really nice local in Pinellas um, support. And endorsements from those folks so I think it's going to be a pretty interesting primary to their credit they none of them have attacked each other yes. yet and if they continue that and they all focus their efforts throughout the primary on Anna Paulina Luna and not each other they might be okay but it is you know it's hard when you're when you're wasting resources in a primary all right